Okay guys, happy holidays. Hopefully y'all are enjoying some good old family time or something that you guys love to do. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my holiday EDC. And here it is, a little bit messy, kinda all over the place. So without any further ado, let's actually jump into it and take a look at my EDC. So as per usual, we're gonna take a look at the stuff that hasn't changed and then move to the stuff that has. Cause there's quite a few things here that have changed, but there's a lot that hasn't. So first off, getting the phone out of the way, this is a Samsung Galaxy S10, a pretty basic phone. Y'all are probably familiar with it. Maybe you guys even have one. So that's the phone, nothing special there. Uh, so the multi-tool is still the unchanged Leatherman Charge Plus. Love these multi-tools. They are hard to go wrong with and overall just amazing multi-tools. Next to that, we got the Trayvac Summit, which has seriously not changed in like a million years. Still carrying this wallet. It's a great little wallet. Um, really carries everything I need. And it being steel, it holds up and wears like steel. <laughs> so it's a great uh, wallet overall. Okay, moving over to the lighter, still carrying a lighter, of course, in the winter, always carrying one for survival purposes, because uh, having a ferro rod's great, but having a flames at your fingertips, nothing can beat that. So, then going over to the watch, it's still a Casio G-Shock. This is an 80-something or rather, I'd have to remember, I'm terrible at remembering the like million and one G-Shock names, but it is a Casio G-Shock. So that's a start. <laughs> okay, so then still running uh, some lip balm. This stuff is great. Uh, I actually integrate this stuff kind of seasonally because in the summer I do just fine, but it gets so dry here in Fairbanks, Alaska in the winters that my lips always get really, really cracked and just horrible. So I like to run some Burt's Bees and this is just coconut and pear. Really any of the, uh, really any flavor works for me. I'm not particularly picky. So moving over to the Meritac or County Com pen. This is, I believe, their embassy pen, but it's a full brass pen. You guys are familiar with this one. Once again, this is another pen that I've had for years. Uses a good old Fisher Space pen uh, insert in it, and it is just a really chunky, really heavy duty pen that you can just beat the hell out of, and it's a nice pen to have. Once again, have had this for a little while now, and absolutely love it. Okay. Last thing that really hasn't changed too much is this little guy here. So this is the neck knife for the carry. Of course, this is a Topps MSK. This is the kind of MSK survival in desert and black. A little bit of a custom look to it, but it's still a Topps MSK in a really awesome little neck knife. Okay, so now to the few things that have actually changed. I'll move this one in focus a little bit and this one in focus a little bit more. Okay, so first off, I'm going to start off with the flashlight because this is the least interesting of them all. This is a Phoenix UC35. It's great flashlight. You guys, as you guys know the tradition, the reason why I have a more powerful flashlight in the winter is because it's obviously darker longer or it gets darker faster and stays darker longer here in Alaska in our winters. So I like to move over to a more powerful flashlight because uh, the probability of me needing or using a flashlight goes up substantially in the winter. For this winter, I'm using the, like I said, Phoenix UC35. It has a bunch of options. Really like it for a personal flashlight. Not my favorite for defensive purposes, but it really gets the job done with a whole bunch of modes. Uh, really nice flashlight. Okay, so then going over to the second least exciting thing, uh, at least for me, is the handgun. Of course, you guys are probably already familiar. I did a video with this, or a video of this, not too long ago. But this is, uh, this is the CZP-10C, and I have it in a holster, holster right now. This is a, uh, this is an IWB that can. Uh, kind of double function as a appendix carry or as a, or just around the back, you know, kind of six o'clock carry or seven o'clock carry. So, or six, probably should say five o'clock carry. Uh, so this can be, you know, either a five o'clock carry or an appendix carry. I really am liking this holster, but a official review is gonna be coming in the near future for that holster. However, like I said, the actual handgun itself is the CZP-10C and I'm carrying in this magazine, uh, this is a 15 round magazine with one in the chamber of Lehigh Defense Extreme Penetrators loaded to a Underwood Ammo Plus P. So these are some pretty hot loads and I like them so far for their performance. And then I have a backup 18 round magazine 
in a tolster inside the waistband spare magazine holster and this one is fully loaded with like I said 18 rounds of Hornady critical duty and this stuff's 135 grain um, plus P loads so pretty hot I also like these a lot so I have some different um, am ammo combinations for whatever I need but like I said 18 rounds of this 15 rounds of that so there's a fair bit of ammo right there but it's a 9 mil so you know you might as well so those that is the handgun carry and its spare magazine so the last one and the most exciting for me personally is the primary knife or my pocket knife that I'm carrying pretty much constantly uh, for EDC and this is a Benchmade 630 skirmish. This is a full-sized skirmish. And the reason why it's so exciting for me is it took me years to actually finally get one of these things. Because one, they're not super cheap. And two, they're actually pretty hard to find. These are not very common. They have been long discontinued by Benchmade. But they're a very popular uh, knife. I'd say semi-popular probably. They have a large cult following, I guess. Uh, the people who love them, love them. And I am one of those people. I just hadn't been able to get one until now. So finally I have a 630 skirmish and I absolutely love them. I find the blade shape to just be beautiful. The handle to be beautiful. They're, they're a lot like a Sebenza because of their full titanium frame lock design. I just have always found skirmishes to be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, once again in blade shape and in overall design. Now there are many different handle designs, this is just the one that I found, and yeah, so overall really love this thing, super stoked that I found one, and it's been a long, long search, but I'm very happy with it, and you guys probably be seeing me carry this thing for a very long time, because like I said, I've been looking one looking for one for years so now that I actually found one I'm like yeah so don't really want to stop carrying it just want to keep it around and just use it I love just opening this thing and just looking at that blade it's so pretty I love the four holes in it in this lovely uh, recurve shape so anyways guys that is the main carry blade and of course you guys can expect review and overview of this little skirmish not sure how good or how much good that will do to y'all because like I said these knives have been discontinued for years and they are not the easiest knives to find but I'll probably still do a video on it anyways at least talking about how much I love a skirmish <laughs> So anyways guys, that is my holiday EDC for 2019. Hopefully you've enjoyed this and like I said guys, hopefully you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Make sure to enjoy family time because that's what counts. Anyways guys, that's all for now. God bless and I'm out.